In August, summer gradually gives way to autumn, giving us the last warm days. I hope you manage to recharge with solar energy and restore your strength. Now, let's remember together the news in the field of human rights in Belarus for August 2024. This is the 14th newscast hosted by me, a cartoon avatar of human rights defender Nasta Loika, sentenced to 7 years in prison for her human rights work. Nasta has been in prison almost 23 months. Digital technologies have become an integral part of our daily lives, having a significant impact on rights and freedoms. The European Court of Human Rights plays an important role in setting standards and clarifying norms. Human Constanta lawyers have collected key court decisions for you that will help you understand the trends in the development of digital rights. Here are some of them. Case Delphi as West Estonia 2015 the court concluded that online resources are responsible for the comments that their users left. Case Roman Zakharov vs. Russia 2015, the court ruled that it is impossible to use surveillance tools that allow law enforcement agencies to gain unlimited access to personal data and that do not have guarantees against abuse. Case Nikolai Glukin vs. Russia 23, in this case, the court decided that it is unacceptable to use facial recognition systems for the purpose of suppressing human rights, guarantees against abuse are necessary and it should be used only in special cases. More details are in the material on our website, link below the video. Human Constanta has already collected the third top of the most absurd cases related to extremism. You can read the materials at the link in the description. And now I will give you the top three that question the common sense of the de facto authorities of Belarus. Extremist cats. The court recognized as extremist materials an Instagram account that publishes various pictures featuring cats with white, red, white, white sand also sells souvenirs with their images. The police found the extremist repost even before it was posted. The repost of extremist materials that was made on March 31st, although the police officers recorded the offense on March 28th. Obviously some of the cases under this article are falsified. In Belarus children play extremism, a game was held at the children's camp, where children played the roles of judges, prosecutors and other participants in the trial and got a conviction, simulating the justice system of Belarus. More details are in the material on our website, the link is in the description. What news in terms of sports and human rights was in April-June 2024. The Fair Play team has prepared material for you from which you can learn about. Persecution of athletes in Belarus for participating in protests. Problems with equality and fair pay in women's sports. LGBT equals Pride Month. The trends of which demonstrate both progress and discrimination in sports. The European Football Championship Euro 2024 as a platform for promoting human rights and combating various forms of discrimination. More cases can be found in the analytics on our website. The link is below the video. The issue of migrant mortality on the border of the European Union and Belarus remains extremely acute. Since the beginning of the humanitarian crisis, the situation is only getting worse. At the border of Belarus, Latvia, Lithuania and Poland, 116 deaths were registered and at least 26 more cases were reported by migrants in witness statements. Read more in our material on the website, the link is in the description. In August, we have already lived through the retrograde Mercury phase, which means that things will gradually improve. Despite the fact that September is generally a favorable month, some zodiac signs should be wary. Check out our new human rights horoscope with Kirzorka. Thank you for spending this time with me. We always look forward to your reactions, likes, comments, suggestions and criticism. See you next month.